let's start off by looking at the statement of profit or loss for a CC. Remember, we must name the business and at the end of the name, there must always be CC in terms of the applicable legislation, right? Then we give the heading, the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. And it's for the year ended, 31st of December, whatever it may be. You do the current year and prior year. And then here I'm going to do the, the, the calculations that are required for FAC 1601 on the face of the statement of profit and loss. So we're going to start off with revenue. That's nice and easy. Then cost of sales. Please remember, we're going to start here with opening inventory. We add any purchases, but they must be net of any discounts. Okay. Then import duties getting added to the cost of sales. And then railage or transport or delivery on purchases. Not delivery on sales. The delivery on costs to get the inventory to your warehouse or to your factory. Okay. All get added together we have a starting point for our cost of sales. Remember at the end of the year, however, we will have closing stock, which must be subtracted from this total. So we do that final total, we add it up, and we land up with a total. Yes, I've changed signs because the cost of sales must be a negative. Okay, revenue less cost of sales gives me gross profit. Then, Gross profit is if we are doing the statements of profit and loss by with expenses by function only, right? Very unlikely that you'll get expenses by nature. Look back to study unit one and the work we did there. Then other income, the ones that will be quite common in this subject, in this module, is gains on financial assets at fair value through profit or loss, dividend income on any investments in shares, for instance, and then interest on members' loans, okay? When you have a member's loan, that's an asset, right? So where you've loaned money to a member. Next up, the selling, distribution, admin, and other expenses. Here, you need to make up a list. Some of them will be losses on financial assets, depreciation, delivery costs on sales this time. You can see the delivery costs on sales is in a different place to the Delivery costs on purchases, right? Delivery costs on purchases within cost of sales. Delivery costs on sales is below the line under the selling, admin, and distribution expenses. Then salaries and wages, credit losses, etc., etc. You will group all of those together and you'll land up with a big negative. Then I must look at finance costs separately from other expenses. And here you'll have interest on external debt or long-term borrowings or mortgages, as well as interest on loans from members when the loan account is a liability to the CC. After all of that, I'll add up and I get a total and that we will call profit before tax. Now, previously with sole props and partnerships, we stopped there, right? But here, remember that CCs pay tax in their own name. So I'm going to have income tax expense for the CC. Take that off. I then land up with profit for the year. This whole first section is what we call the profit or loss section. You right, recall right at the top, we call this thing the statement of profit or loss. Well, that is the profit or loss section from revenue all the way down to profit for the year or profit after tax. Okay, we add that up and that total will go to retained earnings. Okay, in the equity statement. Then we have this slightly complex thing called other comprehensive income. The one that you might incur or encounter in this course is revaluation gains on property, plant and equipment, which will go there net of tax I add the profit or loss and the OCI components together to get total comprehensive income. So add the other comprehensive income to the net profit. So profit or loss, OCI gives me total comprehensive income. Okay, very important, learn this format. You must be able to apply it without even thinking about it. 
pretty consistent, especially for this exam. So learn this thing off by heart, please. Non-negotiable. Get it done. Thank you.